We are bringing you live commentary of England against the Netherlands in the semi-finals of the Euros. That's tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Don't forget, I'll be alongside Gabby Agbon on drive live from Box Park Wembley tomorrow as we build up to that game. We've got some big name celebs joining us as well. Let's stay with that, shall we? England defender Luke Shaw spoke to the media yesterday and said Gareth Southgate deserves more respect for what he's done as manager of the national side. To be honest, I don't really understand the criticism. Um, I think what he's done for for the country, for, for us as players as well. And, you know, I think he's really took us to, to the next level. I think no manager's really been as successful as him as, as what he's doing recently. Um, I think it's now another semi-final. Um, and, and for me and, and us as players, we love him. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to argue against what someone like Luke Shaw has just said when you get to another semi-final. He's a rubbish manager. Right? I've been guilty of it, right? I'm not hiding behind this. I've been guilty of it. But you can't argue with where he's taken us to. I mean, it's quite an unbelievable record he has got he's as got, England manager. He's got an outstanding record. Um, look, when Argentina won the World Cup, was uh, do you think the Argentinians are still talking about losing to Saudi Arabia in one of the group matches? You know, of course they're not. Tournament football, you are never going to rock up and play your absolute best at the peak of your powers in every game. Spain have been consistent, I will agree. Spain have been very consistent, but put it this way, I think very few teams are able to go through an entire tournament where they're convincing absolutely everybody. Everybody is on board totally with what they're doing. Um, now, as Gareth rode his luck this tournament perhaps more than others, yeah, I think he has. I think that, you know, the, the Bellingham, the incredible moment, that, that overhead kick, astonishing moment, um, that was seconds away from going out and, and, and probably coming back to uh, to to a lot of aggro. Um, and no doubt he would have walked away from the job had that not... But that's sport, that's football moments, turning points. That happens every single day of the week. We're watching Wimbledon right now. There'll be loads of games where people are down and out and all of a sudden something happens in a game and it turns and things start to go for you in the other direction. Um, who really cares about how England you- are playing? Do you really care if they stink... <laughs> I think I, you I, care. I use the word stink because it's others have been used. I, 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 do you really care, Anne, if they go all the way and win the tournament by not playing that great? Do you really care about you, that? You care if we don't win the tournament. You don't if we do. The, the only That's thing it. I can compare it to, right? You mentioned the other night where Bellingham scored that goal. Ivan Tony came on with like two minutes to go. Yeah. I can't remember the other player he brought on late, but there was someone came on with like four, don't four minutes to go, maybe. And you look at that and you say, I, I suppose the common phrase is, he got out of jail there, right? At the beginning of the tournament, we started with Trent in midfield. Everyone was calling out for Trent to start in midfield. He played him in Trent. It didn't work. And everyone was going, what? Uh, me included, by the way. Uh, why is he playing Trent? Then he changed it to Conor Gallagher. And you're like, what's he doing? Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, third choice, Kobe Mainu, tips up and it works. And, and so that mm-hmm. makes me think, and football fans go, oh, he's got lucky there. He's got, it took him three. He still didn't even know he started 11, but he took him three games and now he's got it. Mm. But what I will say, right, what I will say is you look at possibly the greatest manager we've ever had over here, right, Sir Alex Ferguson. Mm -hmm. When Manchester United were in the final in 99 against Bayern Munich, right, United, of course, had two key injuries, no skulls, no key. He changed that team about. And by doing, by playing David Beckham in the middle, by playing Ryan Giggs on the right-hand side rather than the left, I think Mm. Blomquist came on. United looked awful for they did. 85 minutes, okay? <laughs> they did, you're right. Now, all of a sudden, he made the change, Fergie, late on. He brought on a few subs. But mm-hmm. more importantly, he swapped. He moved Beckham back to the right and moved Giggs back to the left, okay. right? And then, of course, we know what happened. United scored two late goals. It's quite similar to Southgate getting things wrong, changing it, and late on England winning, right? And mm. Fergie, of course, we won, the tre- we won the Champions League and that led us to winning the treble. So you can, you can argue that, yes, Fergie was lucky, but he made those calls. He realised something wasn't right. He made the calls, and we went on to win. I think you've got to have the same view when you're talking about England and Gareth Southgate. There's an element of luck. Of course there is. Mm. But you have to respect and pat him on the back for him changing wrongs to get them right. Because previously, and my mind goes straight back to the last Euro final where we wanted substitutions made late on, he didn't make it, where mm-hmm. we sat on Luke Shaw's early goal, I think three minutes, and we went on to lose against Italy, albeit penalties. But yeah, I think at the moment, we're in the semi-finals, by hook or by crook, we're in the semi-finals of the major competition. Mm. 
And I think you have to... An, an element of that, you have to commend the manager. You have to. Of course I, you do. I'm not his biggest fan. I've said it before. But even I will say... I know you're not. He has done everything right so far. So yeah. to get to the semi-finals, he has to have done everything you have right. To, you have to have been doing it right. Um, this in-game management phrase that's obviously is is is, is banded about a lot more nowadays. Um, and and look, not everybody gets it right. We were just talking pre-show about Guardiola when he left Rodri out of a Champions League final. Yeah, you know that's nuts. It, by the way. Even the very best make decisions that leave us all going, Phew, "Wow, what's that? What's that one all about? Why did he do that?" Still don't know, and he'll have his reasons for doing it. Um, but uh, but 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 look, there there are there clearly is, and Gareth, even though he says he's not aware, he will be. He will be aware. He will be aware of the way that. That things have have uh, maybe turned a little bit. The the feeling towards him, that is totally natural after a after a a, a, a long spell in charge of, uh, of a team. And mm. that is just the way football goes. Eventually, people go. I've had enough of this. Want to see something else? Whether you were David Moyes at West Ham, keeping him in the league, giving him a a a, a good uh, you know a great run in a in a European competition and winning it. All of a, you know, all of a sudden, it's no longer enough. People want something else. There's a, there's another dynamic that everyone is looking for, and I think Gareth's at that point. I've said for ages that I think at the end of this tournament, win, lose or draw, he's got to go. He should go. Well, see, some... If we win it, yeah, I, but... I think we have to keep him for the World well, Cup. Well, if you if you win it, then that will be a big call he's got to make personally. Look, and I know Gareth. I, I have look. We would we were teammates and roommates for a few years. I don't speak to Gareth morning, noon and night. I haven't spoke to him for ages. I haven't rung him before the tournament. I haven't spoken to him dur- during the tournament. Um, I would be the first to congratulate him if, it, if, it go, if he goes all the way and, uh, and does really well. Because again, uh, um, it's not easy to do what he's done as consistently as he has. People assume it's just all down to the players. If people start going, oh, well, if England win it, it'll be just down to the players. It won't be because of Southgate. That's out of order and it's wrong. Yeah. It's wrong. It's not as easy as that. If it was as easy as that, let me tell you, we'd all be football managers on millions a year. We'd all be doing it. It's, it's not as easy as that. So he has to be yeah. given credit for what he does and the way that he does it. Now, if he comes up short, if he comes up short, people will then say, "Yeah, I think there's something else out there okay. that they've got to look." But I'm going to ask two questions: one to you, one to them. Yeah. All right. The question to you lot out there is: if England do win the Euros, do you want to stick with Southgate for the World Cup? I think that's a that's great a, question. That, that's a, and that's a that will be a good question. Okay. And I think that will be. I don't think that's an easy one, even for the manager. No. Okay. Oh three seven one seven double two double three to four. My question to you, right? Anne, Go on. So your your parents are English, right? I yes. guess it's your grandparents from yes. Republic of Ireland. Yes. If England win the Euros, yeah, are you saying England have won it, or are you saying we've won it? No, England have won it. You, so you're not. Yeah, England have won it. I've, you know, that's okay. No, I yeah. don't know the answer to that. No, I'm England, England have won it, and I would be very pleased to see England win win the yeah. competition. I'm not one of those that don't want to see them do no, well. Of course, I and 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 I would be very pleased to see England England win it because I know how our tournament football is, mm. and it's not easy, and 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 and, and you're constantly under pressure. Um, and I think if you get over the line and get get the job done, you deserve okay. enormous credit. Uh, if England win the Euros, do you want Gareth Southgate in charge for the World Cup? And also, we'll talk about Gareth Southgate. A lot of people are saying he's lucky. Is it? I mean, is he lucky? Oh three seven one seven double two double three. Before you listen to Eurogame Day live on Talksport, presented by Burger King, bring home the ultimate food satisfaction. Get your favourites delivered now on AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.